YouTube, three days out. Gotta keep winning, gotta keep winning, gotta keep winning, winning, winning. Gotta keep winning. I hope everybody is having a good day today. It is 6.09 in the morning, man. Wednesday morning. I'm feeling good. I'm at the cardio. I'm at 50 minutes right now. Got 10 more. Uh, just walking on the treadmill, incline, 3.5. Sometimes I drop it down, I make it flat. But uh, that's what I've been doing. That's what I'm doing now. Woke up today super light, man. Check the scale. Check the scale, man, 178.2. It's dropping, man. The water is dropping. Usually around this peak week time, you should see a real drastic change in your weight. It should be going down fairly, fairly fast. Um, 178, man, that's an all-time low for this prep. And that's also 20-pound mark weight loss throughout this entire prep. You guys know I started at 198. Now we're 178. So, sheesh. 20 pounds, man, in less than 14 weeks. Because 14 weeks of dieting is going to be on show day, of course. But uh, yeah, man, check the physique, man. I'm feeling good this morning. Woke up feeling good. Woke up, had a few veins, whatnot in my in my quads. I don't really show those too much. I need to start showing them. But usually when I pose and all that, I'm in my boxers. And I think, I think one of my videos got flagged for that shit, man. I don't know, man. But... <laughs> Yeah, man, I felt good, man, posing. You guys know I like to pose in the morning and do a few, uh, a few poses just to assess the physique for myself. Check out, see how I look. I love the morning physique. After, you know, resting, fasting, uh, pissing out all that water, wake up fairly shredded. So I'm loving the way I look right now. I know I can bring it in a little better, but I'm loving it right now. I'm peaking, so. It's always been said you don't want to peak too soon, right? So you don't want to peak in the middle of the week. Today is actually the middle of the week. I don't think I peaked because, I mean, you guys can see it. This is not a peaked physique right here. Uh, this is just me leaning down, getting shredded. Uh, I'm going to throw some carbs in today, man. We got a hot carb day. Throwing some lovely, delicious carbs in there. Uh, we're going to have... Some sweet potatoes, that's what you're looking at right now. You're seeing two meals with 150 grams of sweet potatoes. You're looking at one meal with 150 grams of white rice, and you're looking at another meal with 100 grams of white rice. And uh, the 100 grams of white rice container has five ounces of tilapia, but everything else has four ounces. So that's pretty much what we're sticking with uh, for today. Those are all, actually all my meals right there. So that's all we're gonna have today. And of course, I'm gonna have some rice cakes post-workout. And I also bought some candy for pre-workout. Haven't had candy in a while. I actually really don't even like candy that much, but I wanted to experiment with it, man. I wanted to see what it was gonna do. I didn't get candy with uh, all the extra sugar in it. I got some sweet tart candy, which uh, doesn't have any fructose. You wanna stay away from fructose, because fructose, you don't know Eventually, you don't know where it goes, you know, and it stores as fat, and I don't want that. So, I got the glucose, I got some adoxin in there. I can't remember what the other ingredient that I need in there for the chain of glucose, but it's in there. Actually, I write it on the screen. Um, and that's just recommended, man, for some PhD doctors and PhD uh, fitness guys, you know. So, just trying to, just trying to see what works, man. Uh, it's my first time. Uh, prepping for a show for myself, so I do have to see how I'm, how my body reacts to certain things if I want to be better in the long term, because this is not just for this show. This will be for majority of shows after, so I need to make sure I know my body and see what works best, so that's what we're doing here. So yeah, man, carbon up, only 200 grams today. I think about 170, 180 protein, and I think about 50 fat, so... Uh, calories are going to stay the same. The only thing that I dropped down was the protein and the fats actually went up just a little bit, but the, the real thing I only dropped was the protein. Water, we're going to keep it fairly the same. Two gallons of water. We might get a little bit under, but we'll keep it the same for the most part. We got sodium. Of course, we're going to keep that down low for right now. 
and still doing fasted cardio, still going to hit my upper body circuit at uh, lunchtime, still going to sit in the sauna, still going to pose, all that's mandatory. It's been working, so there's no need to stop it now. So I'm actually about to finish up this last five minutes right here, hit some posing for at least about 15, 20 minutes, man. Really focus on staying tight, man, all throughout the whole routine, making sure I'm able to breathe on stage, stay tight amongst the other competitors, man, because the judges are always watching you, man, so you don't want to be loose. You don't want to loosen up at any time, man. But like I said, man, feeling good three days out. Time to kill it, man. Let's keep grinding, man. We're almost there. Hooters, I see you. Hooters, I see you, man. All right, YouTube, it is lunchtime. We're about to train. It's 11.30. I am not all the way fasted. I have my coconut oil, of course. But uh, lucky for me, today is a carb day. Day three. Uh, sorry, not day three. Three days out from the show. Uh, today we're starting to carb up, man. Getting some good carbs in me. And I'm going to try something new. So right now I have candy. I spoke about this earlier when I was doing my fasted cardio. But I got some candy. I want to try throwing in some candy. See what that does to my body. And... I was very strategic on which candy I chose. So as you see, I have the sweet tarts right here. So pretty much, man, a lot of candy contains fructose. And you want to stay away from fructose. And fruit also contains fructose. The issue with the fructose is that, I mean, of course, if you're depleted, if you uh, the fructose will, you know, go inside your liver and all that science and whatnot. The problem is if you if your glycogen levels are pretty much full all the way to capacity, that fructose that goes into your body will store as fat. So I don't have that problem today. I mean, normally your first day of carbon up, you're good to go because you're all the way depleted and your glycogen levels are not filled at all anyway. So you can get away with fruit and candy. But like on your second day of carbon up, avoid any fructose. So this candy I have anyways, this candy I have right now, it just contains uh, dextrose and maldoxin, which are pretty much glucose molecules, right? So I don't think I said that the fructose turns to glucose, right? Yeah, I said that right. Fruit, fructose turns into glucose, uh, and that's what you want. But if your glycogen levels are too full, your fructose will turn into fat. There you go. So uh, you got to look for candy that has dextro... Dex Man, these, these words are crazy. You got to look for candy that's low in sodium, pretty much low in sugar, and contains pretty much uh, maldoxin and dextrose. So you want to avoid all the other crap. So... I'm going to get in two servings of these, and I also have my rice cakes. I have two lightly salted rice cakes, and I have uh, one caramel corn rice cake, which I found in my book bag that was left over. Um, I'm going to have 20 of these candies, 20 candy pieces, and pretty much one and a half of the rice cakes. And then, post-workout. I'm going to have 20 more, and I'm going to do another one and a half of rice cakes. So pre and post. So about to get that in right now. I just wanted to real quickly just explain to you guys why I was throwing in candy and which candy I chose and why I chose it. There's a lot of science behind all this crap, man. Like I told you guys, I've been doing a lot of research. I don't want to just do shit, you know, because other people are doing it. I want to do the research. I want to figure out, like, what is really going on. So, let's taste this candy, man. I'm, I'm going to taste it on camera for y'all because I really don't eat candy a lot. Actually, I haven't in 14 weeks. But, I'm not really a sweet tooth candy type of guy. But on show day, I will be eating some carrot cake. So I'm gonna grab 20 of them and we'll get it in. So you gotta, you gotta, gotta count them out. 
Actually, I was just eating count, but pretty small. They're pretty pretty small. Not sure if you guys can see that. Mm. I mean, it's good. I mean, look, when you're dying for so long, oh man, that's good. <laughs> that's crazy. Anyways, man, I need to get to this gym, man. I'm wasting, I'm wasting valuable time right now. I'm wasting valuable time. I'm going to try to record today, too, since I'm getting this nice candy in me, getting these carbs in me, these rice cakes right here. Mm. Mm. These are lightly, lightly salty. These have no taste at all, but they're good. So, I'm going to try to record, man, because I envision myself being, like, super vascular today. Just guns ripping out, you know. Mm. Mm. I got a purse like pout. She can't get a bag, she pout. The right that the money amount. The drip is water. All right, YouTube. I'm going to jump in here. I'm gonna let you guys, you know, watch the workout clips, of course. Uh, it was a upper body day where I performed chest, back, triceps, biceps, and shoulder. One exercise per muscle group, and I did about, I believe, three to four, or maybe it was four to five sets of 15. So, really like a pump type of workout. I mean, that's what you do, you know, three weeks out. That's what we're going for. But I'm not necessarily going to be talking about this workout. Uh, I want to just talk to you guys, you know, let you know how I feel, how I'm feeling. I'm recording, not recording, sorry. I am editing videos from three weeks out and even two weeks out. And I'm just listening to myself bitch and moan a little bit, you know, just not thinking I can come in lean thinking I was way off track, really just down, doubting myself as well, and not necessarily trusting the process, which is very, very important when we're talking about this whole contest prep and even dieting, you know, you know when you're going along your journey. It's all about trusting the process. If your nutrition is on point, you're following your macros, you're working out, you're doing what you need to be doing day in and day out, not just in the kitchen, but in the gym, not just in the gym, but in the kitchen, then all you really need to do from there on is trust the process, man. That is key. Trusting the process. That's the only way you'll make it through. If you keep doubting yourself, you'll basically be talking how I was in my previous videos. I was I, I was getting pretty emotional and I was just thinking to myself like, man, how did I let myself not come in right? How did I let myself be three weeks out and not be ready? Two weeks out and not be ready? Why am I so fat? Why am I holding on to all this fat, this water, this and that? And now I'm looking at myself today and I'm just feeling super good three days out, lean, just enjoying the, enjoying my peak week. I mean, you don't really hear people enjoy peak week too much, but I'm enjoying the peak week. You know, I like looking at myself in the mirror. I like working out, I like seeing the veins. Uh, I'm following a certain protocol here and there, just tweaking it up. The, that best fits my body but you know today's my first day of carb loading uh, I know a little bit more about myself to where I ran that peak week simulation where I carved up heavy which I know now I don't need you know I just learned a lot throughout this entire prep and I'm just sitting back I'm thankful for it I'm thankful for the journey and I'm thankful for you guys for supporting me all through this process um, family too because uh, my wife had to keep me in line every day like hey you're not fat shut up you know get yourself together pull it together you know and I, I needed that and I appreciate all of that from all of you guys I actually received a text today from my mom saying you're looking good and you look, look like you're ready and I like that you know it made me feel good and just I'm just feeling good guys I'm feeling good about this competition win lose or draw um I think I've overcome a lot throughout this prep. A lot of ups and downs. I was traveling a lot. Do not forget I was traveling a lot. If you guys watch the videos, you know I've been traveling. 
and I had to stay on my I had to stay on my diet. I had to stay on my contest prep mode. You know, I was still in and out the gym. I was still eating clean, eating the right foods that I need to be eating, sticking to my macros. I ate out at restaurants a lot. Uh, I did have a few obstacles where uh, sometimes I might not be able to go to the gym. Uh, I was I was drinking alcohol. It was a lot that was going on throughout this entire prep. I mean, life life happens. You can't just you can't just shut life off in contest prep. Like the world doesn't work like that. I mean, it might for some people, but for me, it just doesn't, man. I work a full-time job. I'm an I'm a officer in the United States Air Force. I mean, there's no way I can have, you know, a, a shitload of days off. You know, I'm always, I always have to be working. I'm a father, a father of two. My daughter is 15 months. My son is five years old. You think I get a break? There is no breaks. It's like day in, day out. Just you hear loud, you hear cries, lack of sleep, just everything, man. You still got to be on your A game. I'm a husband. I mean, come on now. If you're married or if you have a girlfriend, you know you got to keep your wife and your girlfriend happy. You got to make sure they're enjoying life still. Like I said, you can't shut the world off. It's, it, it doesn't. It's not that easy just shutting the world off and focusing on yourself. You have all these obstacles around you, everything around you, forcing you to stop, forcing you to quit. But what you got to remember is you're doing things for yourself. You need to be doing things for yourself. You need to be setting goals. And if you set those goals and focus on how you want to look, how you want to be, who you want to be, how you want people to perceive you, then you need to, you got to grind for it. And you got to never give up. That's the key. Never give up. There was times throughout this prep where I was like, man, screw this prep. Let me go grab me a pizza or something, man. What am I doing this for? I'm going to go eat me some cake. But at the end of the day, how will you feel when you quit? If you should feel worse it's not a good feeling quitting i'm not a quitter so i don't really know too much about quitting but i can just imagine the feeling that you get once that day comes that you're supposed to compete and you're not competing because you quit come on man. You, you may jump on instagram and you see everybody who did compete you see the first place winner and you're like man that could have been me so don't have that mentality of that could have been me make it you be that person. Continue to grind, man. Don't be a quitter. Don't give up. And I just wanted to jump in there and say that. And I record myself. I take pictures. I'm always looking at progress. It's always good to do that. Don't think of yourself as some kind of douchebag type of guy or girl. Uh, people are going to look at you funny when you're in the gym and you're posing in the mirror or just looking at yourself 24-7 in the bathroom and things like that. But you can't let that kind of stuff bother you. When you when you do certain things you need to be zoned in to you you know and i say that for like when i'm posing down in the mirror people are walking in and out the bathroom i'm pretty sure there's a lot of people looking at me like what the hell is he doing what's wrong with him but i don't care i'm doing this for me and i'm trying to make sure i'm on point with my posing so i can't let you stop me from being great you know so focus on yourself worry about yourself you know don't worry about others looking at you or what they might say about you if you want something do it for you and get it you know and that's just what it is so like i said i, I record myself i take pictures a lot and i'm always looking at my progress to see where i've come from to see how i'm getting better to see if i'm progressing that's key how can you progress if you aren't watching your progress come on now that's that's important so i don't want to make this too long or you know bring anybody down but i'm actually just trying to uplift this is definitely trying to uplift and just Give you guys some mental cues, man. Help you push out through the days. Help you push out through your preps. Help you push out through your jobs, your life. Like, keep grinding. Just keep grinding. Never give up. Um, the world is yours, for sure. The world is yours. Whatever you want, you can have. Just go get it. Don't let anything or anybody stop you from getting what you want. And with that, I'm going to sign out. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for watching me pose. Thank you for watching me work out. And thank you for listening to me giving my nice mental cues for you guys on this lovely three days out feeling super good and i'm gonna check back with you guys in the next clip
YouTube, the best part of my day is this peanut butter, man. Just one scoop, man. That's all I need, man. Natural. Six grams, man. Six grams. Sixteen. I said six. Yes, sir. Mm. It's everything, man. Just one scoop, man. That's all I can do.